We're here in La Pointe now. This is the ferry docks right over here. The welcome sign, welcome to La Pointe, 1834. And I'm not even gonna try to say the Ojibwa name because I just mess it up pretty bad. The steamboat trade with an eye on the wick and the whistle to the ships that are bound for the bay a running for a bee. I'm the keeper of the light of Michigan Island. The candle in the light for the steamboat trade with an eye on the wick and the whistle to the ships that are bound for the bay a running for a bee. Hi everyone, we are on the ferry boat, uh, just leaving Bayfield, Wisconsin, going to Madeline Island. I was hoping to get some ferry boat footage here, um, where we were getting off the boat and go up into the top deck. Hopefully we'll be able to do that on the way back. It is so crowded, they got us crammed in like sardines. It is Apple Festival weekend, and that's part of it. But another thing, part of it is, is right next to us here, we do have a big semi. So, we can't get out of the car. Hi everyone. Uh, we did get off the ferry now, and we have reached Madeline Island. You can see the marina off behind me. Um, but we're at a, a very interesting place right outside of La Pointe. Yes. And behind us is the marina. Mm -hmm. And over on this side, behind us, is the uh, Native American, the first American cemetery here on Madeline Island. Madeline Island was settled actually well before the Revolutionary War. And over here is a historical marker talking about the Indian Cemetery. Which was established. The La Pointe Indian Cemetery was established in 1836. You can read the information here if you want to freeze it. And when I was a kid, you could go walking and look at the graves. You can't enter anymore. They stopped you because people were... And they, uh, you can see the old uh, graves out in the cemetery. But when I was a boy, you could go in here and uh, visit all, or look at all of the historic graves. Long time ago. Happiness. Hi everyone. Uh, the other reason we're here today is because right out behind me, you can see a small group of the uh, Ojibwa nation. Um, today is the 167th anniversary 
here on the island. This is September 30th, yes. uh, 2021, and they are going to celebrate. Uh, this is the 167th anniversary of the celebration of, between Chief Buffalo signed the peace treaty and, uh, and the Ojibwa in this area was a very peaceful people throughout the years with uh, European settlers that would come here. Um, this is the 167th anniversary and uh, we're here to help or to witness the celebration. We're not going to film the actual celebration. They have the original peace pipe mm -hmm. uh, used by Chief Buffalo at this ceremony and we're just we're seeing a, yes. uh, the recreation. They celebrate this every year on September 30th, the 167th year. Yeah. So we're here to, to witness a historic reenactment. Again, I am not going to film it. It's a sacred uh, celebration here among the Ojibwa. And, uh, but it's just a beautiful day, a beautiful area. Chief Buffalo's grave is out behind us. Uh, and his son, Little Buffalo, uh, is right here by these pine trees right here. And Lake Superior is right over here. And that is the, the Ojibwa people getting ready for the celebration. Yeah. We just finished at the ceremony where the current Chief Buffalo uh, held a ceremony of the, uh, the pipe. Uh, that is a peace pipe that went to Washington, D.C. 167 years ago and was smoked by both Chief Buffalo and uh, the President of the United States signing the treaty between the Ojibwa people and the, uh, and, uh, and the President. Uh, we wow. had, we've had peace since then, though it hasn't always been easy for them. We didn't film the ceremony. It's a sacred ceremony for them. Yeah. Uh, but we enjoyed uh, visiting. Uh, you don't smoke the peace pipe today. No. Uh, the, the pipe is obviously 167 years old. And what, we, what they do is they, you, everybody puts tobacco in a, uh, a ceremonial dish. Yes. And then uh, they light the tobacco. They also light... Uh, tobacco uh, to start the ceremony and they come up by each individual person and you rub you take the the smoke that rises from the tobacco and you put it over your body you kind of do this and get it over your your body yeah. you also share the food uh, they brought food around that you're feeding the spirits Yes. And it's wild rice, blueberries, and maple sugar. Uh, yeah. And it, it's really good. They give everybody, in this case here, because of the coronavirus era, um, they gave everybody individual scoops of the uh, wild rice mixture. Yes. And then we all ate for, to the to honor of the spirit. Uh, we were the only two Caucasians that were that participated in the ceremony and uh, it was really enjoyable there was 20 yes. or 30 of the of the Ojibwa <laughs> like nation there that we were invited to join along with them and uh, yeah. and we really enjoyed it I wish wish we could have filmed it but yeah but I understand their beliefs and their their desires too yes. so we had a great time and now we're in a little roadside park with beautiful Lake Superior right behind us. What did you think of the pipe ceremony? That was pretty good. Pretty good. It was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We and enjoyed colors. it. Yeah. Colors. And out here is Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. That's the mainland over there. We're on Madeline Island now. So you're looking out at the mainland. Bayfield is way down the coast there and off in the distance I don't know if you can see it that's Long Island that that comes out and yes. sticks out at the end of uh, Madeline Island right. like I say Madeline Island is is actually 13 now 11 miles long by three miles wide 
Um, and that is the largest of the Apostle Islands.